for many working families. Uh, the cost of childcare puts a hefty dent in the weekly budget, of course. This spring sees the expansion of free care, which the government reckons could save some families a small fortune. From April, two to four-year-olds will get 15 hours a week free care during term time. By September next year, that will rise to 30 hours a week for all children from the age of nine months to the time they start school. Now, it might sound good, but some childcare providers are warning the industry may struggle to meet the anticipated demand. Here's our Black Country political reporter, Emma Thomas. Eight-month-old twins. They're double the joy for their mum, but when it comes to childcare, they'll be double the cost. I wouldn't be able to go back full time if I, if I needed to because it's just so expensive. Um, so with the, uh, the government coming in and everything like that, it'd be, it'd be great. So it like, allows me to go back to work more and everything. Staff at this parent and baby group in Burntwood are sharing information on changes to the scope of government funded childcare. I think it makes a major difference for people, especially if you're starting to start in work and especially if you want to get back into obviously providing for your family. And it makes a lot of difference for some families on low income. Reggie is almost two. Nursery three days a week costs his parents £800 a month. From April, he'll be entitled to 15 hours free per week in term time. The free hours don't cover school holidays, so I work in the NHS, my partner works as well, and we don't have sort of holidays off. We were under the impression that we'd be saving quite a lot financially, but it turns out that it's, it's, we won't be saving all that much at the end of it. From September, Jake will also be eligible for 15 hours funded childcare a week, but his mum doesn't expect she'll take up the offer. As I've looked into it a bit more, um, it seems like it's quite a complicated process to apply and also to be able to find a nursery that's right for him and me, that I feel like he's going to be beneficial for him. Goodbye everyone. We hope to see you soon. The world is their oyster here, really. Lots of opportunities for uh, physical play. Sarah McCormick manages three nurseries in Staffordshire. This one is set in a woodland. As you can see, we're very outdoor focused. Sarah welcomes expanding childcare funding to support families, but is concerned the industry doesn't have the capacity to meet demand. Our nurseries are full, so you know we can accommodate um, the free, the, the funded hours for parents um, of our existing children. However, it's going to be very difficult for us to then invite new children to come and join us with their funded hours. Um, where we have got um, the capacity to have more children, uh, we haven't got enough staff to offer those hours. According to the Day Nurseries Association, the number of nursery closures in the UK rose by 50% last year. The government's Education Select Committee has made recommendations on how the financial pressure could be eased, including a suggestion that nurseries could be made exempt from business rates. The rising costs and the lack of funding, the right, lack of rising funding, has had massive, massive implications on their stability and ability to stay afloat. Really, um, you know, and it's and it's such a shame. The Department for Education says it's launching a campaign to recruit childcare staff and increasing hourly rates paid to providers to fund what's described as the largest ever expansion of childcare. And please say Emma joins us now uh, in the studio. The new childcare offer, it's been introduced in stages, isn't it, Emma? Yeah, so these policies were part of the Chancellor's offer in the spring budget last year. Now, for many working families, childcare is a huge outgoing. In the Midlands, a day in nursery can cost somewhere between £16 and £70. Pounds. So a monthly fee per child can be in excess of £1,000, pounds, and this puts it out of the reach of many families. Now, the new funding offers, as you say, are coming in gradually, over 18 months starting this spring. There is some eligibility criteria. It's designed for families where parents are working and there is also an, an upper earnings limit on it. At the moment, the only preschoolers who get any free childcare are three and four year olds. There is a 20% subsidy for some younger children of working families, but that's it for now. Yeah, you better spell out for us exactly uh, what parents and carers should be entitled to come April. OK, so from this April, two-year-olds will become entitled to 15 hours a week in term time. That term time is an important detail because if the childcare is spread out over 52 weeks of the year rather than the school dates, the number of hours they receive each week will reduce. 
then in September this year, September 2024, the age requirement for those 15 hours reduces to nine months. And then finally in September 2025, September next year, that offer increases to 30 hours. So from that point, most children of working families from the age of nine months to when they start school will get 30 hours a week term time. I should obviously point out we're expecting a general election between now and then, so anything could change. Uh, anything could happen. Emma, uh, thank you.